it's been about three months and 3,000 miles with this brand new 2022 Ram 1500. And of course, it also happens to be a backcountry edition, which is a special package for this year. In this video, I wanna give you a long-term update with this truck because it's going away in a few days. Ram was kind enough to uh, lend this truck to us for the three months for a long-term test. And this is the end of it. And I have a lot of numbers to share with you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So as you can tell here, it's a crew cab with a shorter five and a half foot bed. It's four wheel drive and it's an off-road package with a backcountry package on top of it. So for the good, I wanna start with the powertrain. So let me open up the hood for you and show you the engine. So one second. As you may have guessed, this is a Hemi. You probably saw the badge already. And it's not just a Hemi, it's a Hemi with an e-torque system. Uh, this powertrain has been around for several years now, especially the Hemi goes back way more years uh, than that. Uh, 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an eight-speed automatic. But here's my experience with this truck after about three months. Like I said, it's a super smooth powertrain. It sounds good. It's just smooth, the transmission is great, it's a pleasure to drive, uh, but <laughs> there's a couple niches with fuel efficiency. Uh, we've done several towing tests, and actually this is a great towing setup because the rear axle ratio is a 392, which makes it uh, rated to tow about 11,000 pounds, and it has just over 1,400 pounds of payload. And we've put it on the I gauntlet, uh, and it got really great results, actually. So for towing, this powertrain is really, really good. I'm very happy with it. We had six brake applications towing 8,100 pounds. We, it went up the mountain in a benchmark time of just under eight minutes and 4.7 MPG for that extreme high mountain test on the I gauntlet. Those are really great numbers for the powertrain as far as towing. It was also smooth, stable handled the trailer well, has a trailer brake controller and the rest. So that's really, really great. And the other good part of this truck is the suspension. So let me show you a little bit about this. It has a five link rear suspension as many other Ram 1500 trucks, um, solid rear axle. You can see kind of the trailing arms, coil springs. So it's also pretty comfortable and very stable um, as far as the suspension is concerned. Um, and then another good part are the tires. Actually, this is good and bad. So let's start with the good part. The traction is really, really good. These are the Wild Peak All Terrains from Falcon. Uh, the traction has been incredible. We've done several off-road videos with this truck. You can check them out on TFL Off-Road channel. And of course, the towing videos you can check out on TFL Truck channel. So the traction has been really great. Uh, let's jump in on the inside. Uh, because that's another good part. The backcountry package costs $2,695. And uh, it comes with some exterior appointments like you just saw the grill, the blacked out badging, uh, backcountry here. It's also part of that off-road package that gives it a little bit more ground clearance. Um, and also, well, the interior has been really comfortable. I'm very happy with it. It starts out as a big horn truck, but you can see there is, you know, not, I'm sorry, it's a little bit dirty, <laughs> but there is really, it's really comfortable, very usable. Uh, let me actually start the engine. Of course, that Hemi is always really great to hear. Um, a lot of appointments. First of all, uh, four-wheel drive automatic mode is available, two-wheel drive, of course, four low, four high. Uh, there is a rear axle lock, um, hill descent control system, your eight-speed automatic right here, push button start. This is your trailer brake controller, very at hand. Also has trailer steering that can help you back up a trailer, tow haul mode and the rest. Uh, heated seats and steering wheel. So yeah, um, for a big horn, um, it has a lot of nice features. Um, eight inch infotainment screen, 
uh, Uconnect 5, it's the latest system. And I haven't actually had uh, many issues with this. Um, it's, been, it's been pretty solid. Hopefully no music will come on. Uh, good. So those are the great parts. Those are the great parts. Uh, now let's talk about a little bit about the not so great parts. Um, and it has to do well with fuel efficiency. Uh, un unloaded. Loaded fuel efficiency while towing has been good, like I said. We also uh, did a highway test with 9.7 mpg towing that heavy trailer, which is great for a half-ton truck. Uh, but during the winter time, 16 mpg has been my average. Uh, empty mpg on the highway has been 20.4. We have a video about this when we compared it to a Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Uh, but that still doesn't match their 2022 um, four-wheel drive Ram EPA rating of 22 mpg. So in the real world, at least in the wintertime, at least with this package, uh, with this backcountry package, I have not been able to reach those EPA ratings. So that's not so great part. And then for the rest of it, let's go outside. I uh, want to close this out with um, maybe um, one or two ugly parts. Well, so another thing I mentioned, I mentioned good and bad on the tire. So if you can come over here, uh, I mentioned the traction was good, but the size, I think this tire is a little bit too small for this truck. It's a 275, 65R18. Um, so yeah, it's okay. Traction is amazing, but the ground clearance is not amazing. Look, look at this. So um, this is, the step is also here, part of this um, package and the ground clearance could be better. If this is truly a backcountry truck meant for camping or maybe hunting and doing other outdoor activities, I would want it to have more ground clearance. And finally, this is the ugly part, the headlights. Headlights, they're not great. Uh, they're halogen reflectors. Uh, even IIHS uh, rates them uh, not, not that highly uh, during all of their headlight tests. I wish more manufacturers would just stick with LED lamps because they're more high quality, better visibility at night. And the other part is the price of this truck. $56,670 is the total MSRP. And that's not that affordable. I mean, this is a Bighorn truck with a couple of options, like I said, but I would imagine for uh, this value-minded truck, I would hope that the price would be a little bit lower. Um, but after spending three months with it and 3,000 miles uh, driving this truck, I think it's just been a positive experience. Uh, if you can find, maybe you can remove some of the options, get the price a little bit lower, uh, but it tows great, it has great traction, uh, very comfortable on the inside, very quiet, very positive experience with this new Ram 1500. Let me know any feedback you have and go back to tfltruck.com or tfl-studios.com where we have all the automotive news for you in one place. Thanks guys.